so uh, so the owner of Nobis, my neighbor and also my buddy Kevin, um, basically was like saying, hey, look, you guys design amazing products. Um, why not make things more people can enjoy, right? Why not design products where, you know, you can just sell it to anybody, right? So they don't have to go to your galas to enjoy what you do. So I was like, okay, that's a good idea. And three years ago, we started this journey of designing um, fountain pens. And we actually, we started with a fountain pen, um, this one in particular, uh, mainly because, you know, my wife and I and my brother, Jim, like we didn't, I don't know, our stationery that we were using was kind of boring. And I was, uh, I was using a lot of roller balls and we spent a lot of money on, on that stuff. And I was like, you know what, this kind of sucks, right? It's like, it's not that fun to write with. So um, I, somehow we just ended up wanting to do a fountain pen first. And so we spent about a year and a half um, researching, uh, working with different manufacturers, designing and redesigning. And um, finally we came up with this very simple silhouette um, we call it the brush because it's the silhouette is of a paintbrush and something that's, you know, obviously uh, an homage to what we do uh, to our stationary heritage. And again, we, we try to stay simple yet classy. So, um, you know, while we have a very simple silhouette, we also have a very cool detailed. And so anyways, uh, so kind of fast forward a couple of years, uh, you know, we get amazing team members like Chris and Rebecca joining our team. Super geeky stationary people that uh, you know they 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 know more about stationary than I know. So uh, it was a great addition to the team. Rebecca, if you guys don't know, uh, is our social media coordinator. Chris is our lead product design. So uh, they've been an amazing part of the team. They do a lot of the work that you see out there on you know social media, uh, all the products that you know amazing products that come out, all the packaging design. Uh, it's these two guys. So any questions, you can fire it at them. Kim, is that a good enough right. introduction? That's great, great, great. Yeah. Maybe I have actually uh, brought back some of the products which I, I, I wanted to show everybody. Well, I'm the fountain pen guy as well, so I'm going to start off with the fountain pen. Uh, now, let's see. Uh, is it just me or I can't see Mr. Lai? Lai, yeah, I switch on your video. Ah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I got it, got it back. Yeah, sorry, I, I don't know what happened. Now this is this is what uh, Ray was uh, mentioning just now. They are fountain pens. What I really like is that they have a lot of details in their fountain pen. First of all, the DNA of their product is actually the nut. I find that the, the nut is really interesting. And uh, Ray, uh, the the entire the entire pen is made of copper. Is it? Uh, is it correct? Uh, the grip is made from brass, but everything else is copper. And the the nib is obviously yeah. Steel. yeah. Yes. So the, 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 the pen is actually very solid. Uh, I like the details because they are put a lot of thought here. They actually engrave, uh, they, they actually engrave the section part here uh, with, I guess it's a Paris bill. And, and they even uh, engrave uh, the, the uh, converter, uh, the top part here, the metal part. And uh, it's, it's really, really detailed. Uh, I've tried the pen. Uh, it, it really writes very well, uh, given the fact that they are made of steel nibs. Okay? They come with the steel nibs. Uh, it's a very well balanced pen. The only thing that 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 uh, probably oh no, post it. Don't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. So you you can't really post it. Uh, once if you post it, uh, you basically uh, have a bit of art here. So this pen, uh, you don't <laughs> post. Yeah, yeah, it's you don't post. Don't post it. No, it yeah. wasn't this kind of post. Um, <laughs> so I want this just one reason. Yeah. This was so uh, whatever basic... the post, it, it balances very well. It's more front heavy, yeah. it's a little bit middle. But if you post it, it the balance is all off. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, So no posting, yeah? No yeah, right. Not. And, and I and I just love their their packaging. They actually put a lot of thought into it. So when when you when you unpack unbox this 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 uh their things. You feel it gives you a lot of excitement, you know. Uh, it's like opening, uh, you know, opening a present, you know, a gift, something yeah. like that. So, so it's really, really nice. A lot of thoughts. Right? And and this is the fountain pens. And and again, the most interesting part would be their inks. You know, their inks is, is just they have brought the 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 the, the presentation to another level. You know, it, it, it's no longer even ink. It, it looks like a what? It looks like a perfume. You know, <laughs> and 
so it's, it's really interesting. I have, I mean, uh, so much, uh, so much details into, into their products and the pouch of the, the color of the pouch matches the, the ink color. All right. And uh, again, you can see if you look at this, okay. All right. I was told to slow down in the, in this like that. Okay. And again, you find the nuts here, you know, and, and uh, 85 ml uh, bottle. Uh, it, it's, it's actually really good. The bottle itself looks really interesting. I've never seen a bottle like that. Uh, I know some many, I mean, I know of a company who makes a, a, a bottle with a long neck, you know, to, uh, to, it, uh, it comes in a long neck with a crystal ball inside, but something like that looks like a, it looks like a Christmas tree. Somebody mentioned the Christmas tree. Perfect. Uh, you guys uh, got you know, it. You guys got it. <laughs> I can, right, right? I want to go, yeah, I want to go through some of the inspiration because you, you caught on all the details that we, we put into the storytelling. Um, let, yeah, let, maybe you want, yeah, you want to share with us the storytelling about this thing? Of course. Uh, maybe I'm sure Chris is going to add some bits to this too. Um, but as you notice, the nut is, it's, it's, it's in a lot of our products. And really what it represents is the machinery that we used to use to do all the letter pressing and full pressing. It's, you know, all, those, all that equipment, um, it's been designed to last for forever, really. Um, and it's very mechanical, it's very raw. And that's why I want to incorporate an element from those machines into our stationery because it's part of our heritage. So you'll see the nut as part of, you know, as a lot of our designs. Um, the other thing that's really cool is, you know, you really caught on to the fact that, you know, going back to when we were, you know, stationery designers for, uh, you know, weddings, for, you know, we designed wedding invitations, birthday invitations. And the whole idea was to, when you open it, it's an experience, right? It tells a story, it's um, just, it's part of the product. And so we carried that on to what we do here. And, you know, it's funny because a lot of people talk about our stuff is like, oh, there's the, the, this, the packaging is, there's so much effort. It's, it's not, you know, we put all our time in our, in our packaging and it's true. Like each box, you know, Chris will tell you, we, I think we spend about 150 to 200 hours illustrating each box design. And we have an illustration team that does it because we care about it. It's part of the experience. It's part of using it. It makes you excited to want to open the package, right? Because if you have a boring bottle, no one's going, you're not going to want to play with it, right? Um, you know, uh, Mr. Lai, you actually caught on to another thing that we really intentionally designed, which was how the cap interacts with the bottle. And when you unscrew yeah. it, it has a very distinct tactile feeling to it. And so, you know, instead of viewing like a, a rubber, or like a plastic insert, which takes away the hand feel. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel nice to open it. We made it so yeah. that it's, it's very tactile. It's cool. It's just like how when you unscrew this pen, it has the same tactility to it. So again, it's all part of the storytelling because, you know, when you are working in a print shop, everything is tactile. You use your hands for everything. You know, you're hand pressing every single impression. The idea kind of translates into what we're trying to do here is give you that sense of tactility that you know you know when you pick up something old like you go to the antique market and you pick it up and you're like yeah this is something of quality because it's tactile it's got a certain heft to it so you know we incorporate it into all of our products to have that feeling so it's it's good that you caught on to all the details uh chris do you have anything you wanted to any other easter eggs you wanted to share with the team <laughs> well that's the tough balance right is what easter eggs do we actually reveal and what easter eggs do we leave for you to discover. <laughs> um, I will say one of the great challenges for me, I started with Ferris wheel on the ink bottles themselves, like the packaging. Um, and you kind of picked up on this, the elevating it to beauty. Every one of those is a vignette of something. Um, some of them are, we always kind of start with, we have the color concept, but we don't know exactly what we're going to do for it. And then we kind of sit and discuss, um, lay some assets down, think about some ideas. Uh, our, our director and I, Jim, um, we'll sit there and kind of pound our heads against the wall until we get a good idea. And then it's always, how do we, how do we make ink more than just ink? Um, and so there's always that little aspect of fantasy or nostalgia or bringing things back to the print shop. And so very carefully with the packaging, we try to make it as if like, what if a print shop exploded into a Fantasia style universe? Um, and so if you do, when, if you're lucky enough to get one of the packages, do take some time to spin it around and take a look. Um, Ray kind of alluded to it. I love putting Easter eggs in. I love putting little elements of illustration that if you're dedicated and you're paying attention, like some people in the chat definitely are, I can see, uh, you'll notice some very fun things in the bottle. 
Uh, some of them you will only see if you have all of them, and I'm not saying that to make you buy all the ink, but some <laughs> of the, the uh, Easter eggs are actually across all the different bottles. So, but yeah, and uh, the other part you mentioned as well with the pen specifically packaging, every moment of unwrapping that pen should feel like there's something new. From the very first moment you get it, as you mentioned, right down to our converter has a design on it. Um, Every step of the way along that, we've tried to make something that's interesting, some moment that'll make you go, oh, wow, or, oh, that's neat, as opposed to a lot of commercial packaging where, like, once you have the box off, no one cares. It's like, let me get to the product now, I don't care about anything else. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, uh, and I don't want to go on for too long. Yeah. <laughs> Louis asked the question whether the ink is dry or not. I've tried uh, a couple of them. I find it a little bit of uh, a little bit dry, but it's, it's yeah. terrible. You know, it's bearable and uh, the color hues are really good. And, you know, a lot of uh, pastel color coming up in the market, but I, I found that some of your pastel colors are really solid. And like, I mean, I, I love your, your, your swatches, you know, you know yeah. this is how it's so thoughtful. Even these, uh, you know, they're so nice. They are real, real things being, uh, uh, you know, touch on the card. So this is, this is really I usually do my own swatches and uh, put it up in the internet, in the website, but now I don't have to do it. So I just took photos and I actually uh, uh, put it up all in my website. So it, it, this is uh, one of the colors that I really like is this one, the blue cotton candy. This is a very nice color. Uh, if you all want details of these uh, 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 colors, right, they are now all in Pen Gallery's website. There is another color which I really like is this one, uh, Jelly Blue Bee. This is really nice. And uh, uh, again, uh, the cut, the inks are a little bit dry, but they are okay. They are okay. Uh, I've actually inked it into, into the brush pen last week. Uh, you know, the sample that I received last week, and it still writes uh, today after, after keeping it there uh, for about a week. So, so it's really nice. And this is pink eraser. You know, your pastel colors are really nice. You know, and um, I, I must say they are really good, uh, nice things. I, I, I just love them all. This is the uh, butter, butter red. Butter popcorn. Yeah, this is, yeah, butter, butter red popcorn. This is, this is really, I mean, all the colors are really good. So, you know, if you all can come to the to Pen Gallery, you can look at all these things, you know. And, and unfortunately, the, the, the lockdown is still there, so you can't really come, but... I have all these watches here, you know. But yeah, they, they, are, they are really nice products. But like I say, uh, you have, they have 15 colors now. Uh, it used to be nine, right? And then you all have actually increased to 15. Do you all plan to have more colors in the future? And uh, how many colors? And, and do you do limited edition colors in the future? <laughs> uh, Rebecca, why don't you take that one? Yeah, so um, obviously we can't give everything away. But um, if you keep your eyes peeled, uh, we post a lot of kind of teasers on our social media. So Instagram and uh, our group on Facebook, which actually I believe a few of you guys are a member of the Jubilee. Um, we do have some exclusives. And to the limited edition note, um, I'm going to be as vague as I possibly can. But um, maybe. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, sorry? You can tell them. I can tell them. Okay, so we do have a limited edition ink coming up. Um, it is a shade that we had discussed for a while and something that kind of embodies everything that we want to remember about this year and commemorate about this year. And it's something that kind of takes the overall tone thus far of... Uh, 2020, which has been kind of a strange year for a lot of us. Uh, oh. Sorry, I'm looking. I'm sorry. So strange and difficult. It's it's and it's it's a strange and beautiful ink full of change. Uh, it invokes a lot of the feelings of 2020. So yeah, strange year and uh, commemorative color. So, I hope one day, one day. Probably when when uh, when Ray and his team is around in, in uh, Southeast Asia, you can drop by and paint gallery and show us uh, all your lovely new and upcoming products. 
Oh, I'd love to. That'd be fun. <laughs> it's on yeah, my list. It'd be fun. Yeah, it's correct. on my list. Yes, correct. Yeah, uh, Doctor. Uh, yeah, uh, Doctor Anita. Uh, Anita was the one who actually first uh, tipped me off with the uh, with, with, with the fat with the with Ferris bill. She told me. She told me that I have to have uh, to bring in this uh, this these products. You know, they are lovely products. And uh, she said, uh, maybe in the future, you know, we can do a limited edition in exclusively for Feng Yang. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. That's, that's, that's not cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Thanks, Dr. I, oh. I, I, I think not just their inks are beautiful, their boxes are beautiful. Um, I mean, I haven't even thrown it away. Sadly, it's a little bit damaged due to the, you know, um, yeah. travel that it, it had to come from Canada and it took a while and everything, but um, I don't know if Mr. Lai is also bringing in these uh, ink charges. Are you Mr. Yeah, Lai? Yeah, the ink charge. Yes, oh here we go. God. I actually have. <laughs> yeah, I've got the. I forgot to introduce this. Sorry. This is the ink charger. Can you see? Oh. They're really beautiful. They are actual, I don't know, I've never seen anything like it. It's like little glass bottles with gold caps. Yeah, it looks like a perfume uh, a tester. <laughs> yes. I mean, yeah. and. Or a lipstick, it, you know. <laughs> yeah, and, right, and right. it's written there, uh, please use creatively. Um, I think what drew me to Ferris Wheel. Really uh, was really uh, sort of the whimsical, creative spin on it. Um, like even when I first opened the pen box, there's something in uh, down here that says write history. I don't know if anyone can see this, but it's written as written like write history. That was so inspiring. I, I think there's so many little things that goes into the pen. I have the yellow one. Nice. Um, it's called okay, I can not remember the names but oh yeah Yellow Sunset and um, yeah. I love writing with this um, it's just that I need to keep it safely in a pouch so yeah but otherwise I don't cap it and I'm sorry I don't post it yeah. and uh, so it remains scratch proof but um, I really enjoyed the entire experience and what I like about the ink is also that uh, someone was asking about the orange. The orange is really nice, the pumpkin patch. What I like about their ink is um, that you can actually take it out and you can close the box. The box is so beautiful. It's got cats on it, Aussie. Yeah, it does. And you can actually put it like this. And I think, I don't think I do that with any of my other inks it's just it's got a little groove here and it just looks like it's meant to display your ink i, I don't know it's really nice hey everyone meet patch she's half of pumpkin patch mm. oh you want to see the swatch again <laughs> hey, let's see the the swatch again this is pumpkin oh it's patch. so beautiful yeah it is it's, it's actually very beautiful i the colors are very intense and uh, uh you know, the orange is very different from uh, from uh, all the orange that I have in, in, my, in my place. I have currently uh, uh, 650 ink colors in, in the shop. Uh, mm. And this is one of the most uh, unique orange that I've uh, uh, received. You know, this is nice. Pumpkin patch. I always attracted to this. I, and, and yeah, it, it looks really nice. So, yeah, and I agree. it'll be fun. It's a little bit dry, but um, I use uh, sometimes their inks to sort of draw. Um, not sure if everyone else is aware. They've got a lot of these um, sort of things that you can print out and then draw on. And it's really beautiful. This one, I think, was for Easter with all the eggs and everything. Um, the black is um, a different ink, but, you know, the details here is in that pink the dusky rose and so it doesn't run uh, and this is just regular um, A4 paper so um, I think because um, I like to draw a lot as well 
Um, so I like their inks for drawing on regular paper. So it, it keeps the um, lines really precise. And um, my, my pen comes in a MNIP and um, I think I, I really love how smooth it is for a steel nib. I agree with Mr. Lai. So something, uh, we'll jump in for a sec because I saw something. Uh, a few people in the chat are commenting on the orange. One of the, I actually have it in one of my pens. It is my yellow one. And there's a neat aspect to it. If you pay attention on our website, we have writing samples. It's not a pure orange. It actually does like orange to almost yellow transition. It's like writing with fire. Um, but you hit on something, Mr. Lai, as well. We, whenever we're picking our colors for ink, it's always what colors do we feel we want to see? What colors do we want to write with? Um, sadly, it's one of the reasons we don't have a black yet is everyone does black. Everyone does brown. Everyone does dark blue. And very few people do oranges or yellows or like good, strong pastels. Uh, and so one of the things that motivates our color choices is what would we want to write with and what's unique? Um, and that orange is super, I love it. I have basically not taken it out since I put it in one of my pens uh, a year and a half ago. <laughs> yeah, somebody mentioned uh, it, it looks like Hermes. Hermes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, correct, correct. But it's, it's uh, thank, yeah, any, anybody have any comments, any, anything to add on? Are you going to carry uh, all the colors? All the ink colors, you mean? Yes. Yes, I have. I have all their fifteen colors in the shop. When I when I take on the brand, I will take on the entire full range, uh, full colors. I don't pick and choose, uh, because okay. everybody has got their own individual uh, taste. Uh, you know, I even have a transparent ink, as I said. Uh, so so any any type of color, uh, I always tell people. I always have. I have so many colors that I can. I have every color that you can imagine in your brain. So. Uh, I have all the fifteen. <laughs> I have all the 15, 15 colors in, 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 in place. Uh, they are now in in Pen Gallery's website. Sadly, you all cannot come to the shop now. Otherwise, you're gonna have a lot of fun uh, coming and uh, mess around with the inks uh, uh, next week. But again, I say uh, they are all in the website now. You can pick and choose and, and take a look at them. Uh, they are beautiful pictures. The pictures uh, are provided with uh, by by the fairy wheel people. So it, it really cut down my, my, my effort to <laughs> pick this one. <laughs> <laughs> so, so having okay. said that, uh, yeah, okay. having said that, this is a uh, really, really nice event. We have, uh, thank you for attending. Uh, is there anything else that you'd like to add and comment? Yeah, I want to tell Crystal about the uh, notebook because um, I don't have it with me, it's at work. Um, but I got their notebook as well, and um, it, it has the folio around it. You can buy that separately. What I like about it is you can put the crystal ink charger and the pen into it, and you can carry it oh. with you. So it's really beautiful. Um, it's just that I have it at work. I don't have it with me, unfortunately, today. But yeah, that, that's what I wanted to say. Thanks so for really the tip. Well thanks for the tip. <laughs> Thanks, thanks for the pre-poison. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks, Ferris. We Sorry, are, uh, thank you guys so much for that having that us. Too. Yeah, that's been Sorry, awesome. Sorry, quick one since it was mentioned. Oh, this is oh the yeah, that's the one. What's that's that? the product, oh. right? Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, that's, where, where is that's it? how it looks like. Um, Vegan leather. I don't have a notebook for it, yeah. but this is the nothing oh. left, and it kind of too close to the camera. Yes. And it'll sit in there. Yes. <laughs> So you'll, Chris you'll find is that very, oh, Chris is very clearly team nothing left, and I'm very clearly team always right. Um, <laughs> we do have them in both sizes. <laughs> right. But um, yeah, the, the the, there is a little slot there for the pen as well as the eight chargers. So everything you need is in handy little thing you can carry around, and you're never without it. I and really love it. It's you love amazing. It. And, and it uh, writes, I mean, the ink and the pen and it all goes, yeah. It, it is very, I think the whole concept flows very well together. Um, I think um, it's like walking into a candy store. How's the paper like in the notebook? I, I guess I'll answer. 
Well, I'm sorry. Right. So we, we uh, selected the paper. It's actually a, uh, it's about a 90% con paper. It's supposed, like we designed it to use with our fountain pen and fountain pen inks. So it won't feather ghosts. It's 100 GSM, so it's got a nice hand feel to it. Um, we haven't had any problems with ghosting or feathering unless you like you really lay down the ink with like a brush. Um, normal use, it's great. It's really smooth. What about bleeding issues? Mm, no, it looks good. Uh, pardon the ugly writing, but it's so far great. <laughs> you know, we 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 spend a lot of time with paper, so we know the how to pick the good ones. Honestly, our whole our whole office is full of paper, so um, it's honestly one of the best ones we could find. Um, and it's yeah, again, we've had we've had really good reviews about it. Uh, I'm happy to send some samples if you guys want to try it out. So I might be able to speak to this a bit. Um, I'm a lefty, and so using my products or our products is always a bit of a challenge for the lefty curves. Um, same thing sort of as Ray said, unless I'm really giving her with a heavy ink lay down, it doesn't actually smudge or smear or ghost or even bleed through really. Um, I've had a couple days where I guess I'm a little more stressed out writing my work list and you'll see a little bit of a dot go through, but it's certainly a write on both sides of the page. Like this is my work one and I'll have to show you from this since there's no secret reveals. Um, but you can see it's written on both <laughs> sides the whole way through and there's no like... No mistake. No indication of any kind of no bleed through or goes through, yeah. <laughs> and as you can see, and as I suggested, uh, let's see if I can do this at all with light. That's the orange, and you can see a little bit of the fiery effect. But yeah, it's a wonderful paper. It feels very soft. Um, it's durable. The cover of the notebook is soft, um, so you won't get that thing where, like, as a lefty, you won't get that thing where the ridge sits on your hand really awkwardly. Um, so yeah, our paper is solid. <laughs> we're, we're a Canadian company. We're very proud to be Canadian. And a lot of our references are Canadian. So if you have been oh, here okay. or heard about it, you'll hear it. But I think, you know, it, it's actually part of our storytelling. I, I really like the idea of as we, you know, work with different countries or, you know, have fans all over the world to have inspiration from there. But, you know, for us, like, it has to be real, right? I want to take the team there, you know, go see some great stuff. And then they'll pick up on something. They'll, they'll get something cool from... Uh, you know, these travels, but hopefully that's the next next phase when all this stuff settles down and, you know, we can get on yeah. airplanes and terrified again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's, that's yeah, the, that's the thing that we miss most, traveling, traveling, yeah. But yeah. I was going to no say, problem. as far as naming the inks, oops, sorry. Uh, for naming the inks, I wouldn't want to name an ink after Malaysia from a distance. Um, I wouldn't want to just be like, this is what Malaysia is like. Um, but absolutely, if we're there and there's a distinct color that inspires us, I would take photos, yeah. bring it back, right. and start dancing around Ray, be like, we have to do this one. <laughs> well, <there's laughs> easy solution, come over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come correct, over. correct, yeah. Uh, it would be nice. Uh, you although we are all at home, locked down, but, but it, is, uh, it is really, really exciting. It's something different now. I, and I really, really hope that uh, this, this crisis and this pandemic will soon uh, come to an end very soon. Uh, a, lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of us will, in Malaysia will start work Monday, uh, just have to be careful, guys. You know, but, uh, uh, stay safe and uh, stay healthy. Social distancing. Right? Uh, yes, yeah, social distancing. And uh, for those who are overseas, please uh, stay safe, stay, stay uh, healthy, yeah, and and take good care. All right. And uh, it's been really fun. We have, how many people do we have tonight here in, in the in Zoom? I saw sixty-one people earlier. <laughs> Wow, wow, that's really good, really good. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, uh, thank you very much. And uh, in Malaysia, we, we say Salamat Malam, which is uh, good night. All right? Salamat, yes, salamat Malam. Bye. Salamat bye. Malam. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. 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 Bye.